Now to a first look at a new documentary about the late Fast and Furious star Paul Walker. It reveals intimate details about his life off the screen, features home videos. Our Chris Connolly sat down with Walker's family to talk about it all. Good morning, Chris. And good morning, George. You know, he thrilled audiences in the Fast and the Furious movies, but many people didn't know that much about Paul Walker. Now the documentary I Am Paul Walker, produced by Network Entertainment, seeks to take viewers inside the all-too-short life of the late leading man. Paul lived a very private life and he kept the family very protected. He didn't idolize all these people and go, I want to be a big movie star one day. Nearly five years after Paul's death in a car crash at age 40, his father and siblings Caleb and Cody reveal a loving son, dad, and older brother. What was it like for you to see the footage of you hugging your brother? Um, yeah, it was powerful. We all loved him. I loved him. I, I love that video. <laughs> I love that video. The Fast and the Furious made him a star, but he lived off the showbiz grid, often out of the country on surf trips. That's where he he escaped um, all of his troubles and all of his stress and everything. I mean, he would literally vanish. Paul kept his charitable works out of the limelight, as when he made his way to Haiti to help survivors of the devastating 2010 earthquake. And he wanted to do it under the radar without anybody knowing about it. He simply um, got some personal friends of his that were firefighters and paramedics together and uh, got him on a plane to Haiti. He treasured every moment he spent with his daughter, Meadow. He loved her. He was so proud of her. He also carried a lot of guilt for not being the traditional type of father that was necessarily there every step of the way. How did that guilt come out? What sort of things would he say? And he would say things like, I only have this many more years until she's all grown up, until she turns 18. He had signed on to do an entire another like three movie deal and um, then got the news that she was going to come live with him. And <laughs> he went immediately to go um, get himself out of it. But it was just beyond <laughs> that point of no return. And it crushed him. Yeah, he was putting things in order. But it was almost like he, he knew himself, like that the times were, you know, the days were short. Following Paul's death on November 30th, 2013, Caleb and Cody helped Furious 7 film the remaining scenes of their late brother. Would inspire its song, See You Again. I see Paul's face all the time. I had this, whatever you want to call it, and this voice said, good to see you, Dad. And, uh, then it was, don't be afraid. It's your son, Paul. <laughs> Crazy, but I, I, I think of that. And I, it makes me feel good. Someone never to be forgotten by his family and by millions of movie fans. His brothers both telling us Paul did so many nice things for people, they just wish he'd been able to make more time for himself, George. Mm.